Now, Eagle Square is the venue for the inauguration of the 16th president of Nigeria. It is in the nation's capital, Abuja. Located between the office of the head of service and the federal secretariat buildings in the central business district, the Eagle Square is used as the main venue for the Independence Day Parade and the presidential inauguration of the president of Nigeria. Since its completion in 1999, it has also hosted a number of political rallies, religious programs, musical concerts, and award ceremonies. Facilities in the Eagle Square include VIP pavilion, over 2,500 seats in covered terraces, to mention a few. For more on the preparations, co-chairman on venue, parades, and swearing in 2023 Presidential Transition Council, Makinde Araoye, joins me on the countdown. Thank you for joining us on the program. Uh, some novel ideas about this year's inauguration. What really should Nigerians expect from the Eagle Square on Monday? Um, thanks for having me. Um, I'm sure this is not the first time we'll be experiencing um, a presidential swearing in in Nigeria. Um, this year's swearing in is actually of interest to a lot of um, international um, observers, and we have also a lot of heads of state that have actually shown keen interest in attending the swearing in of the president elect, Ashua Jame Bola Tinubu. Um, all hands are on deck. Um, the presidential transition council is actually being led by Boss Mustafa Hutri to the government of the federation. And he's actually doing a fantastic job with the team that he has put together preparing for this grand day, the swearing in of the president-elect Ashura Jubala Metinibu. This is the first time we're gonna have uh, this number of interested head of states um, storming the country, coming from all over the world to witness the special day. And on a scale of one to 100, what would you say is the level of preparation at the venue? Uh, the level of preparation at the venue, I mean, uh, at the parade ground is at 99%. Um, we're just having finishing touches um, to the renovation, the rehabilitation of the parade ground itself. Um, we're also putting a face lift to all the surrounding buildings uh, because of, uh, for security reasons. Um, uh, we, we know what the country is saying at the moment when it comes to security, and we are leaving no stone uh, um, on top to make sure that the security around the parade ground, uh, the renovation, everything is going to be completed today, Thursday. Mm. And let's talk more deeply about the security around the venue and uh, the military parade. Okay. Yes, let's um, talk about security. Well, uh, Please go ahead. Well, I'm sure you must have listened. I'm sure you must have listened to the National Security Advisor. Um, retired Major General Mongono, um, he said it clearly, if you do not have any business at the private ground, if you were not invited for the swearing in, um, there's actually no business. You have no business there. Um, I know the security agencies, all arms of the security agencies, it's going to be a very, 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 very tight um, security arrangement that we already have in place. And there is no how. If you do not have an invitation, you are not invited for this special location. There is absolutely no reason for you to be at the parade ground. Security is going to be extremely, extremely tight. Um, um, and as I said again, we have a lot of, of, of heads of states. We have a delegation coming in from the United Kingdom. We have a delegation coming in from the United States of America. And uh, we have to give them that confidence that you know, the security is going to be there to protect their delegation and all the heads of states that are coming to witness this uh, uh, special event. And and, and the, the, the media, the media is also there, the TV, uh, the television is also there for people to sit down and watch from home. Those that cannot make it to the Eagle Square can actually watch this from the comfort of their home. Not everyone, not the old 200 million uh, population of Nigeria can make it to the, to, to the Eagle Square. There's the capacity and all those that uh, were invited have actually shown interest, and I'm sure the capacity uh, is going to be full to capacity on the D-Day. You've actually hit the nail on the head as to the fact that it is strictly by invitation, but you will agree, Mr. Arari, that so many more people would have actually loved to witness the event first time, I mean, right before their eyes. 
Yeah, you're actually correct. And as I said again, this is the first time during the presidential inauguration that we've actually seen uh, this high number of interest. It's actually overwhelming. We have way too many heads of state that we didn't even expect that have actually promised to either combine themselves or even eat or send a delegation. And I mean, the, the capacity of the Eagle Square is about 5,000. Uh, uh, seats. We can't have the old Nigeria at Eagle Square. Uh, we can, you, you can stay at home, pray for the incoming government of Ashwa Jubala Metinubu, and just hope that this government brings in the hope and the progress that everyone is actually expecting, which I know is going to happen. Mm, so the restriction of movement around that area for non-invited guests, is it an all-day affair or how long is that expected to last? Well, the, the, the inauguration uh, parade and swearing is actually going to start at 10 a.m. Um, all guests are expected to be seated by 8.30. Um, and you know, the, the president, the president-elect, the vice president, the chief justice of Nigeria, everyone is going to come in in their motorcade. They all have their passes. If you don't have a pass, you cannot come within a radius of the parade ground. You cannot. So this, again, are, all, are, are some of the security measures being put in place. There are more security measures being put in place, which I cannot speak about uh, uh, for security reasons. But uh, 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 as I've advised and as I've said, and which the natural, uh, the national security advice, the term general, uh, Major General Munguno has already said, if we do not have any business around the vicinity of the parade ground, it's advisable you stay away from the place. And what would you say about the level of support you have enjoyed in uh, preparing the venue for this august uh, occasion, I mean, from uh, residents in that area? Well, we've received tremendous uh, support. Uh, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, has done a fantastic job. He has put together a team of permanent sex directors uh, who understand uh, the way and the workings of government. And they also understand the environs. So we've been able to speak to most of the surrounding uh, uh, ministries, agencies, to also make them understand that we are going to be having an event on Monday. And uh, they've respectfully, you know, given us the, the leeway to do what we have to do on Monday. So we're actually receiving tremendous support. Everyone is excited about this new government coming in. Everyone is excited about Ashwaju Bola Metinubu being the next president of Nigeria. Everyone is excited about a new progressive government coming into place. Everyone is excited about the hope that this new government is coming. So everyone is actually on board. Everyone is actually cooperating to make sure that the swearing of the next president is actually a success. Well, the excitement can actually be felt, and especially talking about Renewed Hope, the involvement, participation of people of all strata, the young and the old. And I think you yourself are a testament to that, you know, having someone within this age bracket uh, handling such a uh, very integral uh, part of this transition uh, program. Talk to us about that, the, 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 the honor, you know, that you have doing this. Well, I've, I've, I mean, this is not the first time I'm working, um, uh, you know, in, uh, I've actually served in different capacities with the party, uh, the APC. I've also served, uh, you know, in different capacities as a special advisor to a state government. So based on my uh, 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 based on my on my competence, which has actually been observed by uh, Ashwaju himself, they have actually uh, given me the recognition to be able to plan around the inauguration of the president elect. And the president elect has uh, uh, a, a an idea, which is that he's able to hunt talent young talents and also bring them up to the national level. This is also something he has also promised. He has also promised the youths in Nigeria that he has seen them, he has heard their noise, and he's going to actually put them in places and roles of responsibility. It's not up to the young people to be able to show their capacity and the transformation that they can um, bring on board. So it's not just about being youthful, it's not just about the age, it's about what can you do for your country. 
which the president-elect has promised that the younger generation in Nigeria, he's going to give them a chance. And I'm an example of what he has promised. And there are many other people in this inauguration committee who are of like minds, younger generation, and he has given them uh, an avenue to, to perform and they're performing brilliantly. All eyes are on the president-elect and his vice, even as we count down to the inauguration on Monday. Co-chairman on venue, parades and swearing in 2023 Presidential Transition Council, Mark Indi Thank you for joining us on the program. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you.